Julio from Grade 5 Elm. We all know that the ocean represents the largest habitat. It's where life began. At some point, life moved to land and cells obtained the ability to live with fresh water. People like us depend on fresh water. In this experiment, we will take a look at the difference between salt water and fresh water. And we begin this by answering the question, will an ice cube melt faster in fresh water or salt water? What do you guys think? faster in salt water because it has salt. For this experiment, you will need two glasses of water at room temperature, one tablespoon of salt, spoon, colored ice cubes, and the timer to measure the exact time it will take to melt the ice cubes. First, we need to make salt water. We can do this by adding salt in one of the glasses and dissolve completely. And then, we add ice cubes in each of the glasses at the same time. And start the timer. As I can see here, the one, the, the one in the fresh water, the color is going down, but here in the salt water, it stays on the top. And the temperature in the fresh water at the bottom is colder. you can see here, the ice in the fresh water is smaller than the ice in the salt water. The ice in the fresh water is almost melted. While here, it's still bigger than the ice in the fresh water. Oh! 
Would you look at that? It's gone. There's no more ice in the fresh water. But here in the salt water, there is still. Let's stop the timer. It took 2 minutes and 28 seconds to dissolve the ice in the fresh water. Let's continue it. There's no more in the salt water. And it took 2 minutes and 57 seconds to dissolve the ice in the salt water completely. Well, I guess I was wrong. Ice dissolves faster in fresh water. Let's go see the science behind it. On the left illustration, when the ice cube is placed in the fresh water, the ice melts and the cold water is spread throughout the glass. This resulted to more heat transfer and thus shorter time to melt the ice cube. On the right illustration, when the ice cube is placed in salt water, the ice melts. But since the salt water is denser, the water from the ice stayed at the top. A pool of cold water is created at the top and did not spread throughout the glass. This resulted to lesser heat transfer and thus longer time to melt the ice cube. Changing the density of fluids either through temperature or dissolved materials leads to changes in the system. This concept is applicable to our ocean circulation. We also realize that we have an important connection to our environment. I hope you enjoyed this experiment as much as I did. You can try this at home too. Thanks for watching. Bye!